Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. What's new? What's new at Integrity Botanicals? You know that those two things are just synonymous. Um, so happy July you guys. Let's get straight into it. One of the most exciting launches in quite some time. I think a lot of you guys are going to love it and I'm only going to briefly touch on it because I will be featuring this in a complete dedicated video. This is the new Antonym Cosmetics Certified Organic Highlighting Blush Cheek crush and this beautiful peachy pinky golden shade of course it sort of gives an, a nod something like nars orgasm but it is even more radiant even more beautiful i am just obsessed with this it is sort of like the ultimate multi-use product because it's sort of the cheeks are just done they have a little bit of glow they have a little bit of flush and i do think it's going to suit quite a few skin tones obviously if you have a very dark complexion um i don't think this will work but you might actually be able to get away with it as just a highlighter i don't think it'll really work as a blush but i'll talk a little bit more about this product soon i am so thrilled that it's finally here for you guys to play with because I have been enjoying that quite a bit. And they did also add a couple shades to something that is already existing that you guys might already know and love. This is their Certified Organic Baked Foundation. So they did release the shade Fair, which you can see is really quite a pale shade. I think it's a really, really nice addition to the bunch. And then they did add another in-between shade in the shade Nude. And this is very similar to the shade Medium, medium Beige. I am going to swatch these right next to each other so you guys can see it's very similar to medium beige except that it's a little bit more yellow toned so I like adding more of those mid-tone shades with different undertones because one undertone doesn't work for us all so I have actually really been reaching for that powder to sort of set my liquid um, foundation if I have been wearing it if not I've just been wearing concealer sort of in this area right here you guys know that's sort of where my discoloration is and then I'll buff a little bit of that beautiful baked foundation over the top of it I love the Antonym Baked Foundation because it has that sort of luminosity to it because of the way that it's made. Again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that soon, but a really, really great way to start the month. Next up, we have a really beautiful lip edition, uh, and it is the one that I have on my mouth today. It is none other than the Carrie Gran Lip Whips. We know these, we love these, ultra moisturizing, ultra hydrating, ultra shiny, and this is a new shade called Genie. And this shade is sort of plummy pink. I paired it today with the Lily Lolo Hot Pink lip liner and it really sort of pulls the pink out of it. Worn on its own, it's that perfect my lips but better color but it sort of has a little bit more of an oomph. It's a really just fun summer shade, really great summer formulation as well. You guys know I really really love a good moisturizing sort of sheer but buildable lip product and that is no exception. Next up we have a new skincare launch from Ursa Major. They are so on top of the product launches and nine times out of ten they are really really fabulous this one I have yet to get a chance to try so it's gonna pop up a little image right here as I usually do and this is the brighten up vitamin C serum vitamin C serums I always get a little bit excited about because they're sort of good for all skin tones they boost collagen level vitamin C does boost collagen levels so it makes the skin look really plump and youthful it's also really great for fighting inflammation and also brightening up um, acne scarring which I have a really hard time with like like uh, hyperpigmentation once a spot has left behind. Luckily my skin has been really clear, but I think that might be a nice one for when I'm going through my sort of time of the month. My skin's a little bit temperamental. That's a really good thing to add into the routine. If you do suffer with hyperpigmentation or problematic skin, highly, highly recommend that. But like I said, it's sort of good for everyone. So I'll have a little bit more about that product listed down below. Let me know if you guys would like an in-depth review. Another little lip product this, this month, and I think summer and lip glosses go just perfectly together so I was really excited about this one this is the well people bio extreme lip gloss in the shade nudist and of course this is sort of the perfect shade you can put it on top of anything this is though a very unique nude because it has a lot of brown to it now before I get into the color and sort of swatching it and sharing with you guys did want to share with you that it has gone under some repackaging it's looking a lot more sleek and beautiful than it once was um, they also have changed the applicator so I will compare it to the old one for you so you guys can sort of see. Before it was just a doe foot applicator and a lot of us had the problem of picking up enough product. It is now this little sort of paddle applicator which I really enjoy and I think it's very easy to use. And you can see it's picking up really nice amount of product on both sides but not 
too much. I was worried. I was like, oh god, maybe it'll come out gloppy. Not at all. I think this is the perfect fix. I am so glad that they did it. And there is a little slight change in the formulation. Nothing crazy. The biggest of which, though, is that it now has a cinnamon sort of taste and sensation rather than a mint. So if you're sensitive to that, keep that in mind. All of the lip gloss has been repackaged. It's not just this one. So like I said, the color is really, really great. It's a perfect sort of brown tone nude. It's that very like Pam Anderson 90 supermodel sexy nude lip has a really really nice amount of pigmentation to it where you could wear it alone if you would like I personally really love to pair it on top of something along the lines of like uh, Cure White's Honor because that's a color I have a hard time wearing because it's a little too just a pale pink for me. This will sort of deepen it up and add a little bit of shine. But I do also love to wear it with the Lily Lolo Soft Nude Lip Liner to give the, make the lips look like plump as possible. Overdraw it a little bit, fill this in. You'll have lips for days. Highly recommend checking this one out. It's a really, really great summer staple. All right, you guys, we're wrapping it up with a really exciting product that I have been absolutely adoring. Again, if you want an in-depth sort of review and demo, let me know. I'd be happy to bring it to you. But this is the De Mamiel Exhale Daily Hydrating Nectar. Now, this is actually a lightweight tinted moisturizer. When you pump it out, it is a beige color. Gonna be honest with you guys, though, it, it doesn't really provide any coverage at all. But what I love about it is that it is very lightweight, but gives the skin a little bit of a glow, gives it a really nice texture as well. So I like to sort of just put concealer on top of it or even go ahead in with foundation. And it does also have UVA and UVB protection. So it's really great underneath makeup for that as well. But it just sort of gives your skin like like a drink of water it feels like, yet, though I have dry skin, it's hydrating enough, but if you have oily skin, it is not excessively oily by any stretch of the imagination. It's a really, really great product. I did want to clarify with you guys though, this is the same exact product as the one in the UK. The ingredients are exactly the same. The packaging is just slightly different because um, SPF 30 is a uh, pending USA registration, so they are not legally allowed to um, put things on the packaging, but it does have UVA and UVB protection. I will have a little bit more information on the full ingredients list in the description box down below. And the scent of this is also really pleasant because it has um, sort of just like spirit uplifting essential oils to it. So it's a really fresh, clean, really nice smell. This is just a very pleasant step in my routine. And um, I love having a nice lightweight option since it is so, so warm outside. All right, you guys, that is it. That was one great roundup of products this month. We've got a lot of variety, a lot of winners this month as well. Like always, if you guys want an in-depth product review for any of these, please do let me know. I have already gone ahead and reviewed and swatched all of the Cary Grand Lip Whips, so I'll have that in the description box down below. And I did swatch all the shades for the Well People um, lip glosses. Just know that the packaging and the, the scent and sensation will be a little bit different on those. But I have all price points, product links, uh, links that I've mentioned in this video as well in that description box down below. Like I always do, I've also been trying to include a little bit of my makeup. This is going to be a complete dedicated video, so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And don't forget to check out our social media because, like I said, I always fill that description bar up for you guys so you could stay in the know and keep up with us. But most importantly, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I upload new videos here every single Monday and Friday, and I don't want you guys to miss it. But thank you so much for watching as always. Happy July! Don't forget to let me know what you are the most excited about in the comments down below, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!